What's up, y'all? Um, so, I'm up very early this morning with heavy thoughts on my mind about our futures for our kids and generational curses. Y'all, them things is real. And a lot of us don't even realize it. As a single mom, I can honestly say that I had a pretty, I've had a pretty decent life. It hasn't been too, hasn't been too bad, but there are a lot of things that I made bad choices and decisions for. You know, I posted this morning about, um, choosing better with men so i'm going to explain it to y'all a lot better for the women who don't understand or if you think that i'm capping or whatever the case may be you know generational curses are true and it's because of us we are the people that guide our next generation you know and we are the people that show our next generation how they're supposed to live. So I had a conversation with my mom yesterday and it just hit me. I'm a lot like my mom used to be when she was younger. I'm a lot like my mom, how she used to be when I was growing up. I've been in couple relationships that kind of reminded me of my mom's you know and it didn't dawn on me that that's what generational curses mean it doesn't mean that you got some hoodoo over your family that y'all ain't gonna never be successful no it's about the choices that we are making as grown people that we are teaching and guiding our kids to grow up to be. I have a daughter and you know, my mom said something to me, you know, and she was like, I didn't realize this until I was older, but date men, you would want your daughter to be with. And wow. I mean, wow, that for me, when she said that to me, it just made me realize choices and generational curses because these kids are looking. You might not think they looking. You might not think they don't understand. You might not think they, you know, oh, stay in a child's place and all that stuff, but they're watching. That's just like men. Date men that you want your son to be like. Date positive men, ladies. Choose positive people to be around your kids because it takes a village to raise a child. And that village starts from you. It starts from us. It starts from our choosing. The people we choose to have around our children. And I was like, wow. Have I really had good people around my kids have i chosen the right people to be around my kids and absolutely not there are people that have been around my kids that i just they were no good and you know as a praying mother as a praying person i would never want one of my kids to ever run into some of the people that i ran into absolutely not so I'm just making this video just to tell y'all to choose better. Women, men, be with those people. If you're doing relationships, be with someone who you would be comfortable with your kids to be with. Be with that guy that you will feel comfortable dating your daughter in the future. Because if he's disrespecting you, your daughter sees that. And that's what she's going to see 
that's what she's going to have when she gets older because she's going to feel like her mom dated somebody like that. So that made it okay. Just like our, just like these men running around here having babies and not taking care of them. You know, they don't understand and they don't realize that this is the next generation. You're training your son to be just like you. Having these babies and not financially taking care of them or not being there for them or, you know, I'm saying jumping from this woman, jumping to that woman. You're training your children to be just like that because that is the karma of life generational curses man that crap is real you know and my new year's resolution definitely from having that conversation is to choose better choose better people to be around my kids because I want my kids to be better than me I want them to have better than me. That's why I work two jobs. That's why I work seven days a week. That's why I I spend time with my kids. That's why I take them places to show them nice things. So I do all of that. I do all of that, y'all, just so my kids can have better. But I have to start off with me first. Me and my choosing first. Me choosing the right people to be around my children so that's all i wanted to say y'all you know peace love and chicken grease